party people it's your girl tish oh i keep let me just look over here i'm not gonna start over hey party people it's your girl tish i gotta remember i'm using my phone and the lens is over here i'm looking like dead at myself on the screen and that's not where the lens is so I'm gonna try to remember to look over here and um I'm going to, this video is going to be about my collection. I'm gonna just kind of go over like all the things that I acquired, <laughs> which sadly was all this year. So it's quite a lot of stuff that I've acquired. I want to say I started this journey in around March of 2023. So these are all of the things that I acquired throughout 2023. And um, I can't wait for 2024 because now I have things to already wear and I'll be able to add like new stuff. So um, two parts of, you know, loving fragrances that will happen is like wearing your favorites and then adding new things to the collection. So this video may be a little longer and hopefully you like long videos or watch it in pieces. Watch some today, watch a little bit later on. Um, but I'm going to go over, like, I'm not going to go in detail. I will do dedicated videos on these different fragrances or maybe buy fragrance house or scent types or things like that to kind of break it up as far as going into notes and, um, really digging into each fragrance, which I will do. And if you see something that you're like, Ooh, tell me more about that. Tell me in the comments so that I will start, I'll start with those. Um, so help me help you help you help me hit the like button subscribe and please comment i love talking about fragrances so i definitely want to dialogue tell me what you like what you're wearing if you have questions um anything fragrance related i mean it doesn't have to be fragrance related but it's just not too off the wall or, or nothing mean keep mean to yourself all right so we're gonna start with since my journey started with joe malone I think it's only fair that I start with Joe Malone. And I have like my little, I have a cart that I ended up having to organize all of my stuff on. Um, I'll show you, well, can I show you quickly? Let's pan to the little cart. Um, I'm in my mom's nail salon, my mother does nails. And she has a, a salon here in the house and um, I'm in her space. She's not here right now. She doesn't have a client right now. So I'm just kind of in her space. I have my cart here and I'm just gonna kind of grab and share. I'll give little snippets here and there about at least what the fragrances are, but I'm not gonna go into detail. So we're gonna just start with, and this is in no particular order. I'm not ranking. And I may do a video where I rank or talk about the collection in full, like a dedicated Joe Malone video um, for sure. Because uh, if you didn't see the last video, I now freelance for Joe Malone. So, um, you gotta remember to look over here. I now freelance for Joe Malone, so I will, you know, definitely do a Joe Malone dedicated video. So, first up, yeah, this this kicked it off. This was not the first one I purchased, but this was the one that my cousin told me to smell. And it may be backwards because I have my camera flipped, but this is Murren Tonka by Joe Malone, and this is the 50 ml bottle. So they have an intense line and they have a hero line. And just real quick, just so you know the difference. The hero line comes in these clear bottles. The intense line comes in the darker bottles. And um, the hero line is a cologne concentration. And um, they're all colognes, but the intense is just gonna have a higher concentration of fragrances. To me, it's probably more gonna be in line with what you would expect from like an EDP. Um, as far as performance goes. Maybe I'm actually even a little stronger, but it says cologne intense. So myrrh and tonka, it's just that, it's myrrh, it's tonka bean. Um, it opens up with lavender as well. Um, very smooth, a little woody, <coughs> pardon me, a little woody. Um, but it's, it smells so good, it's unisex. So men, we're not, I'm not forgetting about you. I actually learned on this journey that a lot of the scents that I gravitate towards are actually unisex. Um, I am not a super flower girl. Like, uh, that's just not me. I, now, I am learning to appreciate some, but it has to be done in a very specific way. And um, I'm just starting to find some of those. So this spring, I'm looking forward to adding a little bit more feminine, girly scents to my collection. But right now, I would say a good portion of my collection is unisex, so. 
then pay attention, okay? Marin Tonka is definitely unisex. Even Velvet Rose and Oud. Now, this was the first one that I purchased because they were out of Marin Tonka. So I, I did get Velvet Rose and Oud because I also like that just as much. And it is a rosy Oud. But it's kind of deep. It's got a damask rose. So this is definitely a little sexier, a little deeper. And it's unisex. I, I Selling the Jo Malone, men buy this. Men wear this. Men can do rose, okay? There are different types of rose fragrances out there. Men can do rose. This is one for sure, because it's got that oud, so it's gonna ground it and um, make it nice and, and deep. For, for men, that's an all-day scent. I mean, for women, you can wear it all day, but it's definitely um, gonna give you those night, date night vibes. It's a, it's a little deep, a little sexy, so. Um, and that is very powerful. You put that on, a little goes a long way. And then the other intense I got is Jasmine, Sandback, and Marigold. And this is very Jasmine heavy. It's got some vanilla in the base. The dry down is really, really nice. Um, <laughs> this scent my mother actually bought for her. It just ended up in my collection somehow. She's not really into fragrances all like that. She went because I was excited. And I'm sorry about the click clank. And that's the sound of me getting the fragrances in and out a um, little case but um i think she bought it because i was excited and she was like well you know i know how to find you if i ever want to put it on so you take it but i've bought her stuff and she doesn't wear it i have to remind her when she's going somewhere because she doesn't really go a whole lot of places but when she's going somewhere i'm like you put on any perfume um or i have to literally sit something out for her that she may like for my collection um and hope she puts it on i mean it's her choice but she's not I got it from my dad, for sure. So that's all of the intense full bottles that I have. Um, these are all 50 mil. So with the Hero line, I'm just gonna kinda go through as I pick them up. Whatever I pick up is what we're gonna talk about. I have Red Roses. I have no dip at all in Red Roses. This was a definite impulse buy. How did, how did you do this? Should I do that? And then it comes up? No? Yes? Ha! Red roses. Oh, I got cooked my face. Um, this was me just doing too much. I told y'all I'm not really into flowers all like that. But in the spring, I was definitely feeling flowers more. Um, you can wear what you want when you want. I am one of those people that I've learned throughout this journey. I am in different moods based on the weather um, in the time of year for sure. Not on purpose. I just found myself craving certain scents in certain seasons and it changed and I didn't tell myself to change. I just saw, you know, that I reached for different things. So in the spring, I was definitely on flowers. And red roses is nice. Even if you don't like roses, you may still like red roses. It opens up with some lemon and then it's got the rose. It's really, really pretty, but I bought this towards the end of spring. And by the time I got it, I started reaching for more citrusy, zesty, like bright, since and i never really wore it and i work from home so i don't go a lot of places every day anymore so it's you know hard to kind of wear some of this stuff but um again i wear it whether i'm in the house or not honeysuckle and divana now this one as you can see has a nice little dent these are the 30 ml bottles um I started with these for a lot of them because I wanted to make sure that I was gonna like them. I was still discovering what I liked, how it was gonna wear long term. Like I really didn't know what I was gonna wanna do with them. And again, these are not cheap. Like the the 30 mLs for Joe Malone started at 80. Um, and for the clear line, again, the intense line, these 50 mil bottles, they start at 160. So I wasn't used to paying those prices and I was trying to build a collection. So when you're trying to buy a lot of things for that much, it adds up quickly. So um, I would just kind of each check, buy one. Macy's um, sells Joe Malone and depending on what store you go to, they may have a Joe Malone stand and so does Nordstrom's. And they, they do 15% off sales a lot, very frequently. So I always waited until there was some kind of sale. And then sometimes I would have a gift card. My job does a bonus point thing where we would get gift cards. I'm gonna do a whole video on 
different ways to get some money off and save for sure. So everything I've purchased, 90% of it, I did not pay full price. Once I learned how to do it, I was like, ooh, no, full price, we won't do. So Honeysuckle and Divina, Divina, this one was really, really nice in the spring, especially. I love the smell of Honeysuckle and it smells like a Honeysuckle bush. It's just, this is very spring. If you like, if you've ever like grew up sucking a little juice out of the honeysuckles or whatever, this is nostalgia for real. And I love adding this to fragrances as well. It adds just a nice sweetness, a, a nice brightness to any fragrance. So I layered a lot with that, which is why it's a little lower than the rest. Blackberry and Bay, a little baby dent. I got this kind of late in the spring as well even though this isn't necessarily springy it is um it's actually kind of tart this is very unisex men for sure this actually can lean a little too masculine for some women um sometimes when i let women smell this they're like ooh, but a lot of women love it so um joe malone as a brand is unisex but blackberry and bay can lean a little masculine um, for those who are like really girly girls and just love like really, really girly scents. But if you're like a, uh, a female who can do different kind of scents, this is great. And then this is really cool to just layer on top of stuff. It, it just adds a little bit of a berry tartness um, to, to stuff and a unique kind of a smell. Uh, it will definitely kind of get that like, oh, that's just nice what you have on kind of reaction. Now this one, this one is one of my faves. Poppy and Barley. Y'all see that? Is it coming through? I don't know how they do this. I'm gonna learn how to do this stuff, y'all. But Poppy and Barley. The, look at this. And this is only because, because it's gotten to this point, I now am really stingy about when I wear it. I want to just knock this off and wear it. I'm definitely gonna get a big bottle. But now that I work for Joe Malone, something about paying the price, I'm like, can I get a discount? But I think I just hit my mark where I can start to earn gratis. But I gotta learn what that system is and all of that jazz. So whenever I get my gratis stuff together, Poppy and Barley is one of the first things I will be getting a bigger bottle than what is they there's no in between. It's either 30 mil or 100 mil, but I'm gonna get the 100 mil because this is all year round. I love Poppy and Barley. I love layering it with stuff. I'm gonna do a combo video where I can tell you about some different combinations and how to, you know, I love combos because then you you got like an endless supply of fragrances and you never get bored. I'm one of those, I get bored easy when it comes to fragrances, which is why I love new fragrances because I get bored. So I can't wear the same thing every day. I don't think I'll ever be that signature scent type person where I just have that one scent that I wear all the time, I absolutely get bored. So layering is a nice way to not get bored. Wild Bluebell. Now this, this is, I think, no, 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 my mother didn't buy this. My mother bought the Wild Bluebell body cream to go with her Jasmine and Sandback, um, Jasmine Sandback and Marigold spray. Wild Bluebell and Jasmine and Sandback go together very well and Wild Bluebell and Poppy and Barley go together very well. So just a little tip and that's a little preview to the combos. And I let people smell this in the store because a lot of people, Wild Bluebell is a light floral. This is a very light, not your typical flower. I've never smelled a Bluebell, so I guess this is what Bluebells smell like. But it's, it's a different kind of flower. It's not a rose. It's not the kind of flower that would kind of make you sneeze when you, you spray it on. It's a very nice, pretty um, floral. But I was at the counter and the lady said her son wears this. So again, Jo Malone is unisex. I personally think that this one is a little feminine leaning. But if you are a man that wears this, please tell me in the comments and, you know, tell me how, how, how it does on you. Um, no judgment. I'm just, I'm actually curious. But Wild Bluebell is nice on its own, but it layers very well with, with other stuff. Um, now this is another one. <laughs> so these last two got they got their up they got their upgrades. Mimosa and cardamom is a very nice, powdery, warm, unique. Well, it, it was unique to me at the time. I have since smelled other 
fragrances with mimosa in it, but I had never smelled mimosa. And by the way, it's not like the drink mimosa, okay? It's a flower. It's a little yellow fuzzy looking flower or something, but um, so not, not the champagne and orange juice. Uh, very, very soft and warm, cozy. This layers so well with everything. Everything, everything. I love it. Look at this, look at this. And this only stopped here because I started rationing it out because I ended up having to upgrade it. And I got, I got the 100 mil. Just a little dip, because again, by the time I was really on some of these scents, I quickly transitioned into new scents, and then I kind of um, abandoned Joe Malone just a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I did, I did. But my first um, hero line, Joe Malone, was Peony and Blush Suede, and this too got a nice little dip, and it too had to get an upgrade. Partner, let me upgrade you, okay? This is so pretty. If when in doubt, I always start with peony and blush suede when someone comes to the Joe Malone counter. When they walk up, which everybody does, they walk up like, I don't know what I like. I don't know what kind of smells. I don't know the categories. I just start here. This is the baseline to tell me what you like. Why? Because it is so universal that you're either gonna like it or if you don't like it I know you like different it's this is now men do I know of any men that wear peony and blush suede this one is probably the most feminine leaning out of all of them in my opinion I'm sure there are men who wear peony and blush suede again talk to me in the comments and tell me how it does on you this one it's peony, let's start there, very soft rose, and the suede, but it opens up with apple. So it's it's sweet, um, I would say fruity floral, but it's just pretty and bright. And if you just want an easy reach and just to smell nice, but nothing too much, it's not gonna get in your nose and make you sneeze and all of that jazz. And I say that because a lot of perfumes, some of the flowery ones especially, just make me think of um, the drop dead Fred when the girl just <laughs> chewing and Fred went flying. That's, that's, the, that's what I picture with some perfumes. Like they just that, uh, the flowers just get, you know, allergy. This, this is not that, none of the Joe Malones are actually. So if you have allergies, um, Jo Malone is a really good brand for you to start with and you get headaches and stuff because it's a nice clean brand, nice uh, low concentration, but it does, the nice. it smells nice and stuff like that. So um, Peony and Blush Suede is a nice neutral, just pretty scent. And like I said, if you don't like it, that usually will lead me to give you, you know, steer you to some other fragrances like Peony, and, uh, like Poppy and Barley and some other ones. Now I do have deluxe samples cause a lot of times you'll get like a free um, deluxe sample with purchases and stuff. And that's another thing I'll tell you how to do in my um, video that I talk about how to, how to save money. Cause part of that, I add in the value what I get with this, what come with it. Oh, okay. I get all of that. Cool. So another one is lime basil and mandarin. Uh, you can. Uh, it's just darker, but I don't know if you can read it. How you how you do that? I don't know. Lime basil and mandarin, a deluxe sample. Have a good little dip. This one can be a little masculine leaning. Um, some women say. Some women love it. It is very zesty. Some people don't like it also because it, it smells very. Some people associate citruses with like cleaner, house cleaning stuff because a lot of home cleaning products come in citrus scents, right? So a lot of times smells remind us of things. And if it reminds you of something that's unfavorable, you're just not gonna like it. Me, I love the smell of cleaning supplies. I used to sniff pine salt just because I love smells when I was little. And when they came out with the lemon, what? So 
I love lime basil and mandarin. I especially love it in home stuff because they have a home line. They have candles, um, reed diffusers, um, room sprays, and you know, they have other stuff as well. But this in the summer, I was just in my citrus era and I loved, loved this. And I have the small body cream to this as well, which I was putting on and the shower gel. Where are my shower gels? That's what happens when you clean up. I, um, hmm. I put all my stuff in containers. Oh, it's back there. And I, I do have the shower gel to this as well. And the shower gel is just amazing. It's a hand and body wash. And I took it to a hotel with me when I went on travel and it was just the best thing because while I had it at the sink, I could wash my hands and it was just so clean and zesty smelling. And then when I took a shower, it just had the whole shower just smelling clean. I just felt so clean and it is a nice wake me up in the morning with the lime, basil and mandarin. So in the summer, I was definitely in my citrus era and the lime, basil and mandarin was great. However, I did, <laughs> I did get a larger size of the perfume and I returned it because of the, like it felt masculine. But when I got the, the little one, I started using it. So I don't know if it was just something I had to get used to, if it was just that particular bottle. We'll see what happens this summer. I have a little thing of Scarlet Poppy. Now this is on my wish list to get a bigger bottle of Scarlet Poppy, but because I have the deluxe, and now that I'm freelancing, whenever I go into freelance, I just go spray their stuff on me. So usually I'll spray something that I don't own because why not? So I'll spray Scarlet Poppy all over me as my scent of the day whenever I'm freelancing for Jo Malone. And then I have the deluxe sample and I have Poppy and Barley. They could be cousins. So um, I don't have the big one yet of Scarlet Poppy and then other things keep trumping it on my list when I go to shop. Um, and I also have, I have Oud and Bergamot. I don't wear that one. Um, I don't know where it is right now. I have Oud and Bergamot in a travel size as well, deluxe sample. Um, it's a little masculine leaning for me, but I feel like I could add it to stuff and be just fine. And women do come and love that one. So um, it's unisex, but to me, it's a little masculine leaning. I have a travel of ginger biscuit. And um, this, I, you know, all my travels I got free either free gift i got this one day as a just thank you when working at the joe malone which was great so um this is a limited time scent that comes out for the um holidays but not every holiday so people went crazy this past year um on this ginger biscuit it was selling out people were mad i felt bad because it was sold out half of the time or people would want to come smell it. Sometimes they didn't have the tester at the store that I was working at. But one time I went in the back and I got this little sample for the girl so she could smell it because she was like, I just want to smell it. I said, I got you. I'll be right back. She was so happy because she liked it. And then she was like, okay, cool. Now I know I can at least buy it online or, or whatever the case. Um, that's Red Roses. I already showed y'all that. Ah, uh, this is, I have a silver birch and lavender. Uh, very masculine leaning to me. However, the last time I was at the Joe Malone counter, I was working in Nordstrom. A lady was buying this and she, this is her signature scent. She loves it. So I'm going to play with it. Maybe I got to combo it. It's masculine leaning to me, but it smells nice. If you are a man, a lot, a lot of men love this one when I um, let them smell that. So that's Joe Malone. That's, a lot of Joe Malone. And that's just the fragrances. I have body creams. I'll show you a couple. Um, I have mimosa and cardamom. What? I have mimosa and cardamom. And their body creams are very... Um, ooh, this top. Okay. Did I have my Wheaties today? Let's try another one. Ooh, sure. That's nice and closed up. Okay, Red Roses is two. Okay. Myrn Tonka, are you going to be the one? Now, the Myrn Tonka body cream is a bit of a different consistency. Did I not have my weeds today? Jeez, Louise. All right. This is Myrn Tonka. When I do the Joe Malone dedicated video, I will try ahead of time to open the bottles. Um, I'll eat some Wheaties first. 
open the bottles and show you the consistency of the creams but i have quite a few of the body creams they are very uh, moisturizing and they are a great way if you feel like uh you like drum alone but the performance isn't what you want it to be just um get a body cream get the shower gel layer and it will last a lot longer so that's Joe Malone. Let's then I went to <laughs> then I went on to Dior. Now, this is when I went over to the bougie mall. I learned there is a whole nother world over there. A whole nother world over there. They have more niche fragrances. What's niche, Tish? Niche is so you got designer and then you have niche. So designer fragrances technically are fragrances by a company that sell other things other than just perfumes. So think of your Tom Ford, although they do have a private line that is a little bit more of scale, but think about your Donna Karen. They sell other stuff, they sell clothes, they sell shoes, they got perfume, they have all these other things, right? And then Joe Malone, they just do fragrance and, and home care, which is in the same family, but they don't have a clothing line. So that's the technical version of niche. And with that, why is there a difference? With designer fragrances, those are gonna be most of your fragrances that are sold at like a Macy's, right? Or similar department store. Um, I'm just trying to name stuff that everybody may be familiar with. Um, you're, but however, there's a Joe Malone stand at some Macy's, not all, but some, and Joe Malone is a niche brand, but that's why it'll be a little more separated because, you know, it's, 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 it's a little more bougie, darling, right? Um, but the designer fragrances, they have to appeal to the masses. So their notes and composition of the fragrance will be a little more simplistic a little bit more mass appealing in that, you know, sweet. I love, people love sweet smells. People love, you know, florals. People love, you know, it, it'll be kind of just here, right? Niche, you are come to a niche brand because you want that scent. They don't have to appeal to the masses. They can cater to a specific audience if they want to, right? So their fragrances may be a little bit more complex in, in that there are more notes or the, the, they take you on a journey. You, or you, it starts off one way and then in the dry down, it smells like a whole other scent, right? Um, it's a little bit complex and, and it's a little risque. Like people have to try it and they have to know about it and like it and the prices are higher and are they gonna pay that much? So niche can be a little bit more complex and there are now a lot of designer brands that have made private lines that cater more to that niche audience where they can be a little bit more complex and specific or um risky in their their notes and the compositions and stuff with that all of that to say dior is one of them I was in Saks and there was these big old bottles that looked like, it just looked like Jurassic Park size <laughs> perfume bottles. And I was like, what is this? It was pretty and they had it all lined up and they, each one had like a different color and it just drew me in. And I was like, are they, is this like the sample or are these to like, why are the bottles so big? And the lady was like, no, these are the actual sizes. And she started telling me all about it, but they had other sizes too. So um, I have the baby size. You're gonna look at it and be like, Tish, that's not that big. No, I have the baby size. There's a small, there's a medium, and there's a large. On the display, they were all the large. And I forgot how many ounces it is, but it's something ridiculous like 6.8 ounces or it's, it's, a, it's a lot, of, it's a lot of fragrance. But people buy them because I want to say some of these fragrances can be more signature scents. So if it is your signature scent and you're wearing it every day, all year long, you would want a big old bottle so you don't have to keep rebuying bottles. But 
I am building my collection and I don't have that kind of money. So I have the little baby bottle and my first one that I purchased was Grizz Dior. Um, and it's called, you know, the, I don't know, the D Dior Privé line. If you go onto their website, it'll say like this long title, but it'll have Privé um, in it. Um, or you can go to Saks or the Christian Dior store in Tyson's. I don't know about other, if all Christian Dior stores have it. The, the Christian Dior store, at least the one in, in Tyson's, only has a portion of the line because they sell other stuff in there. They have the purses and the jewelry and the clothes and all that other stuff. There's usually like a small section for the private line. Again, I haven't been to all stores across the world, so you might have one that has like the full line. I'm in Maryland and the Tyson's Corner has a small portion, but the Saks has the full line and quite the display and like a whole Dior section. So, and you, they even have the body creams and stuff there too that you can play with. And the body creams are amazing. I'm gonna get to that. So Grizz Dior, this is the baby size, which you can only get this size on the website. And unfortunately, Dior, as fast as I found out about them, I think that they are slowly getting rid of this size, which is in my budget. The, this size, is this like 1.7? I think this is like, this might be like, 1.7 fluid ounces i'm not sure i'll do a dedicated video and i'll give more details but this was like 125 okay but a little goes a long way as you see i still have a lot and they give you a lot of samples and stuff when you purchase stuff and then you get the if you get the gift box wrapping oh it comes so pretty and it comes uh we'll talk about that so a little goes a very long way and the medium size is like 330 and it might be like 2.4 ounces or three none of them it might be like three ounces um and then they're like it jumps to like six ounces or something ridiculous and then that's like 480 or something like that um but if you go to the website it's the privé or you go to Saks, they have the full line but they only sell the medium size and the very large size in the store you can only find this size online and not all scents come in this size and then sometimes you'll see it and then it's gone and when it's gone, it seems to be gone because there is a scent called Ambry Nui. I have the body cream. Thanks to one of my friends who got it for me for my birthday. And I was unable to get it in this size, although it was there at one point. And now it's not. And I am sad because, again, this is in my budget. And the bigger size, I just got to work towards. And there are other things on my list and I can't do them all. So this is another scent. Jasmine. Jasmine. Does and <laughs> jazz okay? I went to college. Doesn't matter. Jasmine does and did Jesus. Jasmine does Angie's and Jess. Just read that. It might be backwards, but you still might be able to read it better than what I'm doing. Anywho, um, the Grizz Dior very uh, rose and patchouli. It's very unique. I bought this because you, I haven't smelled anything like this, and I don't think I'm gonna smell anything like it because if you do, it's a it's a dupe. You you straight up copy. This is so unique. You straight up copied. You know some stuff is like okay, nah, you ain't you ain't make that up. You copy. Jasmine, this is a little more not so unique, but just was nice. It was a very pretty scent. This got me in the um, summer summer months. Um, I was just, I was gravitating towards very light. It was hot and you just, some of these fragrances were, are cloying if, you know, they're heavy or if they have too much oud or other stuff. I learned that the hard way. I wore something and almost choked myself out because I went ham on it, not realizing that you <laughs> can't do that in the summer if you, you know, can't take it. And I, I couldn't take it. But this is Jasmine, Orange Blossom. Um, it's just pretty another thing they don't really tell you the notes on their website they have like these long beautiful stories that they'll just tell you about and you gotta kind of guess but let me move along because i'm not making it very far because again i love talking about fragrances i will do dedicated videos where i go more in depth about all of these so i'm gonna start moving a little faster i also then found out about I was walking in Nima Marcus and I saw these unique bottles. They were gold and black and they were had this interesting shape. And so I was like, oh, what that is? I was actually leaving. I had parked there, so I was leaving. And the lady started telling me about them, started spraying them. And I was like, oh, this is 
different. This smell, like I, I did the Tiffany Haddish, like this is nice. <laughs> it's so different and fruity and just pretty. So she was so nice. Her name is Angela. Um, so go see Miss Angela at Neiman Marcus at Tyson's Corner. She is thebomb.com. And when I say thebomb.com, she is thebomb.com. Why? Because she is the only associate in that store that will act like she don't mind giving you samples. Some of you may have experienced this. You ask for samples and they just, all, they don't speak any English. Like they will start acting like you have just asked them for ice cream at the perfume counter. <laughs> samples, I, I, I don't have, I, I have asked associates for samples and they tell me they don't have samples and they're unable to make samples. I have asked Miss Angela in the very same store for samples, for the very same scent. And she will make me a sample of whatever I ask for. Whatever I ask for and multiples, multiples without hesitation, whether I've bought something or not. I wanna say it was probably four months of me going to that store, smelling stuff and getting samples every single time from her before I bought a thing. And she never treated me any different. Never looked the other way to act like she didn't see me coming. She never seemed frustrated. And I would be there for a long time and she would take me all around the store to every little counter. She would write the name of whatever I was smelling on the little stick before giving it to me so I could remember what I was smelling. She would talk to me about it. She would still help other people, give me a stack of cards, come back, check on me. Great, to the point where when I was ready to buy something, it was, it was from her because she earned it. And sometimes, like one time I, I bought lip gloss just, just for, to do something, even though she kept telling me I didn't need to do that. So Angela is amazing. All of that to say, sorry for the sidebar. Tiziana Terenzi Tubbit. When I do the dedicated review on Tiziana Terenzi, I got to show you the boxes this comes in. If you love packaging, this is, I think like peach and passion fruit and just, just loveliness. They're an Italian brand and just amazing. So I have Tibet and then I have Cassiopeia. Oh, sorry, let me show you. Cassiopeia. And Cassiopeia has got uh, the passion fruit and um, some other stuff. I'll go through all the notes and stuff. This is very fruity. I didn't get this until the end of summer, so I didn't really get to rock this like I needed to because this is perfect for summer. And I was headed into fall and I was already on my vanilla kick and, and stuff by the time I was able to get this. But this summer it is on like popcorn, okay? So another brand that I slept on, I slept on because some of the associates are very knowledgeable about the fragrances and some not so much. And it seemed like every time I would ask people about this particular brand, they would just spray them. I want those people, I want you to explain it to me. Tell me about the notes. Hear what I'm saying I like and help me find ones that are like it. Now, I am a little difficult in that I like a lot of stuff. I like fruity, I like citrus, I like woody, I like soft, I like dark, I like all of it. But just, you gotta know a little something. So there are so many of this brand. They have so many fragrances. I was always overwhelmed when I got to the counter. And sometimes nose blind, because once you go smelling, after you smell some, you can't smell it anymore. And I would actually travel with my own coffee beans in my bag because the stores don't have them much anymore. So I would just take my little bag and you know, kind of refresh my nose. But I would just get so overwhelmed by the time I got to this brand. I really, you know, it took me a minute to figure it out. And the very first fragrance that I got from the brand, I smelled it early on. Did not like it. Did not like it. And my mother got a sample because she liked it. 
but I did not get a sample of it because I didn't like it. I don't know what happened. I think it was the season. I smelled it in the summer, wasn't ready for it. Now we transitioning into fall and it was the perfect scent for fall. I, I am talking about Bond number nine, New York Nights. Ah, look at that bottle, first of all, okay? Just beautiful. All of their bottles are like, there's like art on the front of them. They're very, very pretty. Um, New York Nights is, it's got caramel, coffee, vanilla. Now the coffee is not coffee in too much because I don't like coffee and I don't like the smell of coffee, which is why I probably didn't like it in the beginning because there's a little bit in there. I have a very sensitive nose. I pick up on notes and all of that jazz. So I wasn't liking it, but the caramel and the other stuff, praline or whatever else is in here, just so good. This was my first fall purchase and I got so many compliments and I got nicknamed the first day wearing this, I got nicknamed Smellitious by a group of uh, my friends from church because they were like everywhere I went, they could smell it in a good way. Whether I was in the room or I had just been in the room, they were like, Tish was here. What are you wearing? Like, it was a hit. My next one was a complete influenced purchase. <laughs> it's by AI the Great. AI baby do it. I did smell it in the store. Um, and, and then I ordered it and I, and I, I do like it, but I'm still learning to love this one. And I think now is starting to be the perfect weather. This needs to be cold. This needs to be cold. And this is my New York. This is a very unique ginger rose. It's got some stuff in a, in a combination I'm just not used to, but the first day wearing this, I also did, you know, get compliments as well, but a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. Very first time I wore this. I did not realize that and I, 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 too much, too much. Um, so the, the next time where I just did just a little, just a little bit, that's when I got the compliments. Now I would say, is this my favorite bond so far? Now I, I, I got a collection at this point. This makes it a collection. This is number three, Tribeca by Bond New York. This makes it number three, number three, I think two or more equals a collection of a particular brand. And I have two more on my wish list. Like very soon, the I have the other two will will be gotten. Um, I have to plan out my purchases because I again I, you know, gotta plan my money out. Um, and next up I'm gonna talk in my wish list more about them, but Greenwich Village and New York and uh, no, yeah, New York Flowers, I think are Next on the list, I'm still sorting out spring, but Greenwich Village is is all year scent, and that will be gotten very soon. Um, I promise I'm gonna move faster. Those had stories. Um, these all have stories. Just strap in, get comfortable, watch it in phases. Okay, we talking a collection here. All right, so um, next up, I keep mentioning AI the Great. And that's because I watch a lot of her videos. She um, has a lot of fragrances, but I seem like that we have similar taste. As you watch different people's videos, you'll start to kind of see, you know, if their opinions match up with yours, you know? Um, because what I first do is I'll go to the store, smell a bunch of stuff, and then I'm kind of torn. Like I said, I can't take everything home because of these prices, okay? So I'll go watch some reviews to see, you know, what are other people thinking? What, you know, is it lasting on them? Is it projecting? You know, you can only get but so much from a little sample. They're about this big. And sometimes if they make you a sample, they give you a half a squirt. They don't even fill up the thing. Um, you can't really get your whole body like you need to, like you would with a big bottle. So sometimes I'm like, right, let me see somebody who has it, who's maybe worn it, and what are they saying? Does it last? Does it project? Does it turn into something else, you know? Um, and, you know, I feel like a lot of her videos um, are very, very, very helpful. So she came out with a perfume. Um, her first one with Navitas Parfums was Ambrosia Imperial. And I apologize if you hear noises in the background. Again, told y'all my last video. I'm gonna just start making these videos and they're not gonna be perfect. I live with other 
uh, people, my mother, she's walking around, she's about to cook dinner, and that is very important because the sister is hungry. So you may hear her walking around or whatever else. Um, and so her first one was called Ambrosia Imperial. Um, let me make sure I got saying the right one. And I have not smelled that one. I do not have that one. I've heard great things about it, and it is on the wish list to get soon. Um, but she came out with a second one called Amorous Intense. And just based on the notes, it was a blind buy and an expensive blind buy. And I think the only time that I blind bought something, I don't think any of these other fragrances were blind buys. And it was an expensive blind buy. But my rationing was I had watched so many of her videos and I had learned so much about fragrances and even just how to make videos and content and you know stuff like that where I felt like I would be supporting an, 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 another black woman in her business and at the end of the day if I didn't like it it would just be money towards support okay <laughs> but based on the notes I was like but pay her out could you go that wrong and um, it was a good blind buy. So Amorous Intense by Navitas Parfums in partnership with AI the Great. This is her scent. And if you like pear, this pear, okay, so there's some very interesting notes in this. This pear, applesauce, um, it's baked pear at that. Not just pear, baked pear. So it's, it's the thing supposed to be like a baked pear dessert. Her first one was based off of um, insp inspired by Bananas Foster um, dessert. And this one was like a baked pear dessert. So it smells in the opening. It smells like a green Jolly Rancher, a green apple Jolly Rancher. So it's going to be sweet because it's got sugar cane in it. And you can smell sugar cane. I don't even know if I've smelled a sugar cane, but I know that I can smell the sugar cane in this because it smells caney. Um, smells like a sugar cane. So it's got the baked pear, applesauce, sugar cane. Those are the main things I smell. So the green Jolly Ranchers, which, and, um, which you smell up front. And then in the dry down, you smell more of the baked pear. I was probably got like some cinnamon in. I'm just playing. I know how to say cinnamon. Cinnamon, stuff like that, right? So I'll do a video about this and tell you all about the notes and all that jazz. But if you don't want to wait, there's lots of videos on there. Or you go find her video because she, she breaks it all the way down. But it smells very nice. And I get compliments whenever I wear this. Now, I don't often wear it by itself, just being real. Only because I love mixing and matching. So I don't wear a whole lot of fragrances by themselves, just being honest. But this smells good on top of anything. I have on Tribeca today. I've done this with Tribeca. Pretty much the combination that I showed y'all earlier, minus the Baccarat lotion, because I just got that for Christmas. But, um, and then I sprayed this on top. Compliment City. Compliment City. And with that one, I would get a lot of, you smell good. You always smell good. I don't know why the always smell good only came out when I when I wear that one. But, um, and then I always get the, somebody smell, <laughs> who smell like, <laughs> Tish, is that you? Yes. Melitious, yeah, that's me. Um, so next up we have Mason Francis Kirkjohn Gentle Fluidity Gold. This one was something that I purchased for uh, my birthday. I got bought myself for my birthday um, with money that I received for my birthday, and I put in the rest. And then I had a bunch of gift cards. My church, um, I, I'm a, a leader of a, a drama ministry at my church, and um, they will give gift cards for like Christmas and birthday and stuff like that. And um, I've accumulated a lot over the years that I don't always spend them. Sometimes I forget I have them. I just have them, you know, put them in your purse and then they're just there or you bought like one thing but not use up all of the balance. So I took like all of the money from different gift cards that I've had, just random gift cards or some I've gotten as gifts from other people, you know, those Visa gift cards, they're not to anything, they're just money. And, you know, I put those money that I got from um, Christmas gifts and my own money that I was saving up to buy myself a nice fragrance for my birthday. So I got Gentle Fluidity Gold from Mason Francis Kirkjohn. And I only have a little bit of a dent. I did decant this as well because I like to have decants of all my fragrances for my purse. Um, and I need to wear this more. It's very, very pretty. And I feel like I don't really go a lot of places. I work from home and I'm at church a lot, rehearsals, whatever, whatever. And sometimes, you know, this is, a, I feel like sometimes this might be a little too 
too fancy. Although it's a very casual wear. So I'm gonna definitely start just wearing this more. This was supposed to be my fragrance of the day. I don't know how Tribeca ended up on me, but Tribeca was like, nah, sis, we wearing Tribeca today. So I got on Tribeca, but Gentle Fluidity was supposed to be my scent of the day. So we might do her tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day, we will see. This next one was definitely a social media influence. YouTube videos, other influencers. This was all of them. All of them. This was, it was, it was, I don't even know if AI the Great had it at the time that I bought this, but um, the Santa Maria and other influencers um, made me buy this for sure. But I actually liked it. I had sprayed it on myself and kept going back and forth, but then I just kept seeing it limited edition. I just didn't, I had FOMO and the bottle was pretty and I had money. Um, and I bought it. Donna Born Aroma, Pink PP. Now look at this pretty pink bottle. I do have a nice little dent. If you can see there, it starts right here. Um, I did decant this as well. So this is a combination of what I've worn and a decant for my purse. Now when I first bought it, I was mad at myself. Cause in the store, I sprayed it, I walked around, came back, loved it. It's a combination of Donna Born Aroma, Oriana, or Love Don't Be Shy, which are very similar, um, had a baby. That's kind of what, what it smells like to me. And I was really torn between a lot of those different fragrances. So I was like, well, this smells like all of them wrapped in one. So this would be a better purchase because instead of me buying those other ones, which actually are more expensive, I can get this and get the same vibes. The only problem was the performance. It was disappearing and like, seconds it felt like it was not lasting at all and i was not happy and i wanted to take it back i'm not really a returner all like that so i did it but i'm glad i did it oh and marshmallows got like marshmallow orange blossom it's just sweet pretty bright it just makes you smile but it just wasn't lasting which was like ugh. it still wasn't cheap you know but so I let it sit, um, Ayotta Grey and the perfume guy, and uh, there's another lady, just, just, I, I can't pronounce it, but I'll put her in the in the thing too. But um, they, they talk about like letting perfumes macerate. And I'm not saying a bad word. Macerate means, I don't know what it means. It means like, it like the juices like blend together and do stuff and come out stronger later it's a very bad explanation but that's kind of the gist of it so sometimes you might need to when they say when you get the perfume spray it to let oxygen get in it right and then the stuff go like this inside and the chemicals right they go like this right and they macerate and then it's stronger later so that's why sometimes you might hear people say you gotta let it sit. When you first make perfumes, they're supposed to sit. But again, with these designer brands especially, and not even just designers, but I feel like, you know, everything is like quick, 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 go, go, go. And they pushing them out. So they haven't really had a chance to sit and, and age like a fine wine, you know? So sometimes you may have to do it. So I did let it sit, not on purpose, but because it wasn't doing what I needed it to do, I just wasn't wearing it aside from like in the house. And I just noticed that after a while, it was lasting longer and smelling stronger, like I could actually smell it. I still haven't worn her out and about yet. So I'm gonna test her out and wear her out and see how she does now that it's lasting in the house longer. But I spray this a lot to go to bed or just in the house, I work from home. So sometimes right before Zoom, and I've just showered and I'm like, ooh, so the whole time, you know, they on the Zoom talking about stuff. I'm just getting little whiffs of Donna Born Aroma, Oriana, Love Don't Be Shy, Orange Blossom, Marshmallow. <sighs> Smelling good. So this is a nice, sweet, pretty, happy scent. And I'm a little sad that it's a limited edition because actually when it goes, I guess I'll have to buy all those other ones to give me the vibes because I don't have any of those other ones. So that's that. This one here, YSL Libre. 
Le Parfum. You see the dent? You see it? Yes, I've decanted it, but listen, I be wearing her. I be wearing her, okay? This is lavender, vanilla, but the star, the star of the show is honey, honey, is honey, is honey. Miss Honey, it's honey. Um, it's honey, it's honey. If you like honey, this is for you. If you like vanilla, this is for you. The lavender is a little bit, so whether you like lavender or not, it won't bother you, I don't believe. The original Libre, heavy in the lavender. This, just just, just a little bit in the opening, but that honey warms up and it, it just, it just honeys more and more as the dry down. So this, I just started testing it out on its own. I was just layering this because again, I love to layer, but it just added something to almost just anything. I was layering it with all types of stuff. I'm gonna do a layering video, but I just love what this adds to just about anything. And especially fall, winter, I was in my vanilla era. Well, it was, it's still winter as I'm filming this, but um, yeah. So I gotta test her a little bit more just on her own to see how it does. Um, Because when I bought it, I loved it just, you know, as its own scent, but there were days where I would just, ah, I need a little something and I would spray that on and it was the something that I needed. And I got compliments with the combos. So, um, next up, I'm gonna go in a little different direction. This, These were impulse buys. This was probably one of the only times that I smelled something the one time and bought it right then and there without getting samples, taking it home, trying it out, seeing how I liked it, because they don't do samples. So I stumbled across this Arabian store, it's called Arabian Oud in Tyson's Corner, and I just lost my mind. I lost my mind, I was by myself, and I lost my mind. The store itself smells amazing just walking by. They got me, it's like Williams and Sonoma, you know, you go in there, they baking fake stuff, and the smell just makes you wanna buy cooking stuff. That's how this was. Now, it wasn't fake stuff, it was perfumes, but, you know, just Arabian oud. They got oud, they got all these different scents, and very Middle Eastern, right? So everything smells lovely. Now, what I did not know at the time, I didn't know that Middle Eastern, so there's some Middle Eastern brands that dupe other fragrances. I, I didn't know about dupes. And I still don't know much about dupes. I haven't duped on purpose. However, I feel like one of these fragrances is a dupe for Tenziana Terenzi. I got it before I got my Tenziana Terenzi. When I got my Tenziana Terenzi, I'm like, I think they tried to dupe Tenziana Terenzi. So, but it's still a nice scent. I don't really wear it out. This is another I wear it in the house because when I got home, it just wasn't performing the way I had remembered it in the store. Now, granted, I did put it on, leave the store, go shopping, and came back. But I had so much stuff on me. I think I was just a little caught in the moment. I was excited, and I bought the stuff. Now, thankfully, it didn't cost too, too much. It was on sale. But the first one I bought was Mirror silver i think they have like a silver and a gold i didn't smell gold they didn't have it in the store but it, when looking it up online there was two now uh, it's it's nice so i don't not like it um it's it's um i don't even know what the these kind of notes are i want to say there might be some like passion fruity type stuff or mango or something like that in 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 here so um, this is another one that i love wearing in the house and just smelling nice um especially um, in the summer um, months was great because I got it in the summer. And this one, I uh, I kind of regret. It's not terrible, but I just have so many other nice ones that just trump it. I don't reach for it much. And there's something about one of them that smells a little weird and it bothers me, but it's not terrible. So sometimes I will bring myself to wear it in the house just because I'm like, I need to use this up. 
and they have this scent called Twin. And it's like a dual scent. There's 50 mLs of two different scents together. So there's one on this side it's called Twin One, and there's one on this side called Twin Two. And they have different compositions. I'll still do a video to talk about them. They don't smell bad. They don't smell bad. This one, Twin One smells really nice. There's something in Twin Two that bothers me. I don't know what it is. It's not terrible. It's just a note that's like, ugh, if we could just get rid of that one note. But in the store, I loved them. Again, I sprayed these on me and I walked around and I came back and I and I and I bought them. But thankfully they weren't super expensive. So I'll get rid of that and I probably won't buy it again. Not no probably. I won't be buying it again. Now, the last two houses that I have left are recent and recently went to the top as some, some of my faves. Bond number nine is now a new fave. And where should I start? Where should I start? Okay, I'm gonna start with Initio because it's another one that it took me a minute to kind of figure it out. Now, I knew I was intrigued at first Smith, sniff, but I didn't really, I was trying to figure it out. I smelled them, ah, I like it, I, I just, I don't know what's happening. Um, they are a niche brand and uh, my last two brands are they cousins. If you know, you know, but, um, really nice. So my very first one that I got, I asked for my birthday and my mother loves me and I'm spoiled and I'm not ashamed. Only child, her only child. And, um, it's just part of the perks. All right. All right. So for my birthday, there was a set. And it came with a big bottle of Must Therapy. And they have the titles here on the top. And this particular line is from their Hedonist line. And um, so they're in the white bottles. They have some white bottles, they have purple bottles, and you have black bottles. The Hedonist lines are the white bottles. The Hedonist lines, I think, are the only ones that really come with each one of these have a different color plate. So you can also know which one it is. Um, just by seeing the color of the plate. So Must Therapy is the gold plate. And this, I told y'all, I love clean. This is bergamot, musk, citrusy, freshness, freshness, freshness. I just feel so fresh and so clean, clean. That's what I feel like in this. So this was perfect for the end of summer. I mean, it was perfect for summer. I didn't get it till the end of summer because my birthday is um, at the end of the August. And so um, I didn't get it until the end of August, but i am been pulling it back out now and it's still nice. I don't know why I wasn't wearing it fall, winter because I was on my vanilla kick, that's why. However, I just discovered that this dry down, there's some vanilla in the dry down. It's like, I'm, I'm smelling vanilla, there's vanilla in the dry down. So if I would have realized that, I would have been wearing it a little more throughout the fall but whatever, that's fine. Um, but this is just fresh and clean and just, I just feel so clean, like after a shower and you just wanna feel <laughs> clean. I don't know how else to, you gotta like musk though, cause it's called musk therapy for a reason. You have to like musk and you also have to like a little bit of that citrus cause that bergamot opening is there. But it's not so citrusy where if you, are into citrus that musk might ground it a little bit for you i would go get your nose on it and try it out but y'all fitting to prepare to be sick of me with that because I'm, I'm wearing that more i wear that a lot in the house but i'm gonna I'm 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 wear her out some more um because i just feel so clean and just i get those whiffs throughout the day they just make me smile but it came with a little bottle of i'm gonna say this one for, for last it came with a little bottle of rehab a travel size, which I have now gotten a bigger size. So I'm gonna just show you the bigger size of rehab, which is the silver plate. And this one is, I don't even, it's hard to say. Cinnamony, um, I don't know if cinnamon is even one of the notes that they list though, but rehab is hard to describe. It's really, really nice and this, is what I did in a combo 
and I'll tell y'all more about it. I feel like I'm spoiling my combo video, so watch the combo video. I'll tell you about rehab. I I've, I've mostly combo it, but I am recently, I'm like, it's that season. I need to wear her on her own and test her on her own because she smells nice and deserves deserves her shine so i'm gonna, I'm gonna test her probably this week um on her own even if it's just me in the house testing her out so for christmas i got the second scent set there was a set with paragon so this is like the rose gold bronzy kind of color paragon this is plum palo santo which i didn't know what the palo santo was until this scent. this is very sexy these are all three unisex so men y'all can wear all three the last one must therapy rehab and this paragon it actually can kind of lean a little masculine ladies however it's not it is to me straight down the middle unisex but if you're not into unisex you could think paragon especially of the three could lean a little masculine with that palo santo and some other heavy stuff that's in there. I'll do a thing with the notes and stuff. But that plum. Now, this is musky too. And I don't know what it was the other day. I sprayed it and it was smelling a little. I've heard people say an animalic. And I was like, what? hey, what's an animal doing in a bottle of perfume? It's, it's in here. It's in here. Um, the musk can be a little animalic. And I, my travel size didn't have it like that. So I don't know if this needs to macerate or if I got a really strong bottle or if I just didn't smell it. I, I, I'm, I, I need to test her a little more because my travel size did not, the, the animalicness wasn't there like that. So I don't know, but I love Paragon. So I'm not making this face because I don't love Paragon. I just, we got to play with the big bottle a little bit. I just got this for Christmas. Um, but I love Paragon. I, I sprayed this and my cousin tripped over herself smelling it and trying to walk at the same time. It was some funny story. Sorry for telling that story. But um, so it's a great scent. I just got to play with her in the, uh, some of the, the dry down notes um, and, and see what's happening with that bottle. I don't know if it's the bottle or if it's the fragrance. Last but not least, and they, this is a sister company I think I've heard to Initio, Parfums de Marley. Parfums de Marley. We're going to start with Delina Exclusive because that's the first one I, I got. Delina Exclusive. So nice. Now, what I actually did get was a travel set that had Delina Exclusive, Delina, the original, Valaya, and Oriana in a travel set. And had to get a big bottle of Delina Exclusive. I do want a big bottle of Delina. And for Christmas, also, because my mother loves me, I told you I'm spoiled. <laughs> Valaya, Valaya, this is so good prepare to be sick of me prepare to be sick of me with valaya wore this on christmas day went over my aunt's house to uh give uh my aunt and un uncle and grandma their gifts my aunt lost her mind i was about to say almost lost her mind but she, she lost her mind she lost her mind smelling this on me she I don't even know if she said hello first. I didn't even get through the door. I didn't even get through the door to approach for the hug. She opened the door and was like, oh my goodness, what are you wearing? That is a new one. She said, that's a new one. <laughs> she, and the whole time I was over her house, the conversation, she, I couldn't have one because she was so distracted by the smell of this Valaya. Um, I, I wore the, the travel size once to a rehearsal and people were sniffing me like a game commercial. But like, oh no, I have another one, y'all. It's not on the tray because I wore it. I wore it and it's not in here. Y'all got to wait, y'all got to hold up. Hold up, wait, I'll be back, wait. OMG, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. 
Now, last but not least, because this one is also a new one, and I love it. Belaya in this neck and neck, but Belaya, <laughs> Belaya, <laughs> Belaya, but that right there. But this one, Killian's Woman and Gold, y'all. This, I just got this. I just bought this. I think it was December. If it wasn't December, the very, very, very end of November, like after Thanksgiving or top of December, it's already right here. I did decant a little bit of it. I did, but I already know I'm fitting to run through this. It's 50 mil. Oh, that smells so good. This got me sniffed like a gang commercial too. When I said that, that's what it reminded me. That's why it had reminded me. This smells so good. It is fresh. It is pretty. It is, I can't even just explain it. This will get its own video. And this made me a fan of Killian. I went to um, Bloomingdale's and there was a guy, Akil, at the Bloomingdale counter. And again, Killian is also a brand of Estee Lauder. And um, because I was like, I'm about to recently, I'm gonna have to sell this one day maybe. Um, I don't know much about them. I only know Love Don't Be Shy because that's what everybody talks about. I have smelled that one before. Smells great. I got received a little sample of it, which I really, really liked. Um, Hear so much about Love Don't Be Shy. That was it. Did not know about the other scents. I would go to the counter um, and get a little overwhelmed by some of the scents and not really understanding them. So uh, Kiel was so patient with me and I went when the store opened, so it was kind of quiet. And he literally gave me a training on Killian scents. We went through every scent that he had, which was a lot of them because it was a Killian stand. They had, they call it the bar. They have a, a bar themed because it's actually owned by a, uh, a guy who's part of the Hennessy family. So um, he went through all the scents, sprayed them, told me the notes, the stories. I love that kind of stuff. I'm such a geek on that kind of stuff on every last one. When he sprayed Woman in Gold, I lost it. I was instantly in love and he gave me a little sample and by little I mean little it was a half a squirt in a bottle but he gave me a sample nonetheless and even when I went back to the store I went to um Saks one day and they had it and I just sprayed myself all over with the big bottle because I did not have enough in my sample to do that um with the big bottle went home second i got home my mother was like oh you smell good you smell nice i can smell that one and like she's not in the fragrances so whenever she says something like that she really means it so i was like yep that's next and i i'm gonna run through this this is a refillable bottle thankfully and i'm gonna is this is for as long as they make it will be a forever scent for show the shizzy for rizzy Oh my gosh, I almost forgot two scents for my house that is also beginning to be a new love. It is Nishane, and um, they are really, really nice fragrances, so I cannot leave them out of the collection video, y'all. So here's a little amendment video. Um, the first that I got was Wulong Cha, which is, look at that. Look at that dance. I love Wulong Cha, and I'm gonna have to probably get a new one by the end of the summer, because it's fitting to go. This was definitely my spring, summer go to. It is, oh, this is an in the house, out the house, around the house, under the house, over the house, and through the woods. To grandma's house we go. This is tea, and, and I love theirs because they have the notes on the thing. Bergamot, orange, litsia, mandarin, oolong tea, nutmeg, musk, and fig. This smells like a nice, light, white, pretty, fruity tea. Like, 
I actually wish I had the tea that goes with this scent. I love tea. I'm a tea lover. I'm a tea drinker. I love fancy teas. I love fruity teas. I love mixing stuff. And, you know, I just am so into teas. Bougie teas. Love it. And this is, I feel like I am just tea. I am tea. <laughs> when I wear this, so it is so light and pretty. It is the perfect hot weather scent, especially because it just, I feel like you're just a cool glass of iced tea. So when it's hot, like that same cooling sensation you get from drinking a really refreshing drink, you are the refreshing drink. This gets compliments. It's just so clean and pretty and fresh and fruity. Um, you're just going to smell good. And this layers with so many things, Any anything. I, I'll talk about it in, in a layering um, video. But the next one is Ani. Now, I do have a decent dent with Ani um, for only wearing this uh, fall, winter. Yes, I did decant both Wulong Cha and Ani. But, the you know, Ani was Ani. And Ani is a spicy vanilla um, it's an extract. Are they both extracts? Yeah, they're extracts de parfum. So a higher concentration of fragrance. Um, when you spray it, you're going to see that fragrance oil on you, but very nice. Um, they wear very nice. They project, they perform, they last. Ani is a beast. It is great for fall, winter. It's a nice, just spicy vanilla. It um, it starts off nice and spicy. Some may say it's masculine leaning, and if you're not into spicy scents, you may not like it. In the opening, I feel like you still would probably like that dry down because the dry down is so smooth and the vanilla is just so smooth and comforting. Compliment getter for sure in any phase when I first spray it, when it dries down. I love the opening, but I have let people smell it um, and they're like, oh, the like initial reaction, but then have, you know, have also you smell nice in the dry down. So, and it mixed, it too mixes well with a lot of stuff. You want to just add some vanilla to something, just throw Ani on. I'll talk about it in my layering videos, but I could not let this video pass without making sure I talked about Nishane because I do have some more, uh, wish list items from them. Wulong Chong has an X version which I want is just a, it's a slightly twist on it. It's a black tea version of it, which I think will be great for fall and winter. There's some other fragrances that I'm sampling from them that I, you know, think I would like. We'll see. Um, very nice fragrance, very nice house. If you can get your nose on them, you can definitely order samples online, but I couldn't let this video pass without uh, highlighting Wulong Cha and Ani for sure. So that's, my collection for the most part i do have some other stuff like i have some clean i only have travel sizes of the clean reserve um i do have some travel sizes uh of um donna born aroma intense angel share by killian and i'll do videos where i talk about the brand clean and i also have burberry goddess which i have used a good portion of that so if you like um vanilla that is a vanilla bomb, vanilla caviar, just vanilla goodness. I will eventually get a bigger bottle of that. Probably not till fall. Um, and I might have some other miscellaneous things. I have lots of samples. Oh, side effect. I have initial side effect in the travel size, which came with my set with uh, my Paragon. So I have um, side effect, which I'll be testing out. I mean, I already know I liked it. I've had the sample. So I love the scent, but I haven't had a chance to like wear it, wear it because I, you know, I just had a sample. So I will be wearing this uh, more for this winter coming up. Um, I have deluxe samples of some of the other Dior scents. I have a lotion for Dior for Oud Ispahan. I have some other stuff that I haven't really had the chance to wear yet now that it's winter. Some things are too fancy. I have nowhere to go. Um, but that's my collection in a nutshell. Um, this was a longer video. So if you're still here, thank you so much. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share with someone so they can come and like, comment, and subscribe as well. Thank you so much. Until next time, smell you later.